Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. So now we are going to start one more series of lectures on Jenkins, which is one of the most demanded technology in DevOps market. So now let us begin. So as part of our Jenkins CI CD tool day one, we will know which all projects we are going to cover as part of our project. Apart from that, we will be learning what is Jenkins and we will be going through at least 10 plus projects which we are going to cover as part of this and then we will be doing the setup of Jenkins. So let us begin. The first project which we are going to do is how to automate Ansible playbook execution from Jenkins which will run playbook on multiple servers using Jenkins pipeline and parameters. Code merge in GitHub or Bitbucket to trigger auto build of Jenkins job and deploy the code in multiple stages. So whenever any developer will commit the code to GitHub or Bitbucket, automatically our Jenkins job will trigger which will start deploying the code into multiple stages. How to deploy Terraform infrastructure as a code using Jenkins. Jenkins pipeline to build and deploy Java code or Python code. We will be learning how to set up Jenkins that is SSO based permissions. So in a company what happens, you don't want a generic user account or password to log into your Jenkins UI. So we will be doing single sign on. Like there will be one user ID and password which will be you will be using in your organization to log into all the servers. Same thing we can implement with our Jenkins as well. We will learn to create Jenkins pipeline to do automated performance testing of servers and event databases. We will learn to write Jenkins code to send regular server backup status report using Jenkins. And we will learn how to deploy Kubernetes help using Jenkins. Apart from that, we will learn how to take backup of Jenkins data and its configuration on a regular interval. We will learn how to set up Jenkins master slave for high availability in, an, in any organizations. We will learn how to create Jenkins job which can help us to do lot of config level changes even in the databases. And we will learn to create Jenkins job which will help us to deploy Docker images and publish it to Docker repositories. So now let us understand what is Jenkins. So Jenkins is an open source automation tool written in Java with plugin built in for continuous integration. So this means Jenkins is open source means some there is no licensing fee for using Jenkins. You can use it freely and Jenkins has lot of plugin supports. I will be explaining you about plugins in coming lectures which helps us to do lot of stuff using Jenkins. Jenkins is used to build and test your software project continuously making it easier for developers to integrate changes to the project and making it easier for users to obtain a fresh build. It allows you to continuously deliver your software by integrating with a large number of testing and deployment technologies. Now we will learn what is CI, what is CD, all these stuff I will be explaining in coming lectures. First let us learn how to do Jenkins setup. What I have done, I have created a AWS machine and then I logged in into that machine. So this is fresh machine, let us do our setup one by one. So the Jenkins is a project which is written in Java. So in your system Java should be installed. So how you will install Java? Yum install Java hyphen Y means yes. So now Java is installed successfully. Now let us see how we can install Jenkins. So for installing Jenkins, what we have to do? We have to do wget and Jenkins repository and download and then just doing rpm import and the Jenkins key and then after that yum install Jenkins and then systemctl start Jenkins. So let us do. 
So first what we'll do, we'll do wget and we'll download the repository related information of Jenkins. Just do wget, wget is done. Now let us move to the next step. So next step is RPM import. So do RPM hyphen hyphen import and the Jenkins key. So RPM import is also done. Now next command is yum install Jenkins hyphen y. So Jenkins installation is completed. Now what will be the next command? Next command is to check the status of Jenkins service. So system CTL status Jenkins. So you can see Jenkins is inactive or dead. Now let us start it. So system CTL start Jenkins. Sorry. System CTL start S T A R T. System CTL start Jenkins. What it will do? It will start Jenkins. While it's a starting, let us understand one thing. So Jenkins has a graphical user interface. Means whatever the IP address of this machine, we need to use that IP address machine colon port number which Jenkins run by default is 8080. So what we have to do? Give the IP address of this public IP of this machine colon 8080. But since port 8080 is not allowed by default in AWS EC2 machines. So what we have to do? We have to go to security settings of that particular machine and enable it. Before going there, let us check the status of Jenkins now. So system CTL status Jenkins. So Jenkins you can see is active and running. Now let us go to AWS space and we will be doing the security level settings of our EC2 machine. So how to do that? Here you see security options and then in the security options you will see there is security group. So let us click on that and here you see edit inbound rules. And let us add one more rule. What do we want to do? Allow all the TCP ports. In organization we will not do like that. But as of now since we are not securing our Jenkins server too much. So we are opening all the ports. And do here anywhere and just save the rule. So now our security group is ready. Now what we have to do? Get the public IP address of this machine. So here is the public IP. Go to your browser. Put http colon double slash your IP address colon 8080 and let us see what happens. So here you can see it's telling unlock Jenkins and where to unlock Jenkins? There is a file created where leave Jenkins secret initial admin password. In this file the credentials are stored. So let us copy this path. We will go to our Jenkins server and here what we will do? Cat and your file name. So you got one password here. Just copy it and go here and paste the password and click on continue button. So now what you can see it's telling to install suggested plugin or select plugin to install. Plugin generally extend the functionality of Jenkins. I will be explaining more detail about it in coming lectures. But as of now just use the default one install suggested plugin. So as we as I told plugin installation has completed successfully. Now we got the next screen which is telling us to create our first admin users. So you can give the username as admin. Password is also admin I am putting. Again password admin. Full name is also admin and email address we can put like admin at the rate admin. Any, any email you can put as of now I am using the default one. And then click on save and continue. Then it gives us one option. This is called customized URL of Jenkins. But as of now let us use the default one. Click on save and finish. So you can see the message Jenkins is ready. Now start using Jenkins. So this is the dashboard which you will be getting for Jenkins. In the right side you see admin which user you have logged in logout button. In the right left side you can see how to create new job, how to add the people, 
here you can see create a job set up as an these all stuff i'll be explaining in coming lectures thank you so much guys for giving your valuable time thank you